Hello and welcome back, heroes. You're watching the Pasha Show, the show where we learn to question the world around us. Now, I know I told you before that this is the show about how capitalism is awesome. And this is also true. However, questioning the world around us is a bigger theme is more prevalent for the next few shows. So, I have a question for you heroes. Did you know that more than 90% of America do not have food insurance? Moreover, more than half of those people are not even eating right now. More than half of America is starving. That is mind-boggling. The idea that so many people can even live without food insurance. So many uninsured Americans are, are in jeopardy. Every single person should have the ability to go to the grocery store, pick up their insurance card, and then on their way out to give the insurance card to the clerk. He would write down the number of the insurance company and then send the insurance company the bill which will reimburse some of it and send you the rest of the bill later for two months. Every member should have the right, the right to do so. It is very important, otherwise we will be starving if we do not have food insurance. It is also very important to cover catastrophic food costs. Like for example, when guy A will have the number that special girl's number and she would only go on a date with him if he bought her a $500 dinner. That is an important need that needs to be covered by food insurance as well. A catastrophic loss to the wallet will result if this does not happen. Yes, I know, some food insurance companies might even refuse to give food insurance to those cases based on the pre-existing condition that I go on a lot of dates and I pay for a lot of women. You know, just because I'm hot doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to afford food insurance. We should ban, ban food insurance companies refusing people based on pre-existing conditions of being hot. And now I know, yes, the naysayers will say this will result in some people who don't buy expensive dinners, subsidizing people who do, but that's not important. That's not the point. The point is to have food insurance for everyone. <clears throat> now, you may be sitting here feeling, wow, that is a dumb fucking idea. And that's an excellent feeling. Now hold, hold on to that feeling. Because it is a dumb fucking idea. Food insurance is one of the dumbest ideas of all time. Second, only to the idea that we should pay for health with health insurance. Oh. Think about it. Why do we do that? We don't pay for food with food insurance. We don't pay for gas with gas insurance or car insurance for that matter, but we pay for health care with health insurance. I see your train of thought. The train is moving. The thought is there. Pasha, Pasha. Health care is different from food and gas because health insurance is about insurance for catastrophic events. Yes, just like the catastrophic event of me having to pay for $500 to get the first date. Yes, that is that catastrophic event. You see, that's bullshit. This, this idea that you've just gone through and is the right answer to the, oh, I will pay health insurance. It's just bullshit. A lot of healthcare costs are not catastrophic. Let's say you are a diabetic and you need insulin. You need to change your insulin pump every few years. 
you need a cocktail of drugs to contain some disease. These are things you take on a regular basis, every single day. Yet, we pay for them as if you were just in a flipped over car on some highway. Why insure yourself against something which is known to happen with 100% probability? When, whenever you have this insurance system and you don't have to think about how much this procedure costs, the doctor can charge you whatever they want. Not only do they charge you whatever they want, the decision they give you is should we have a procedure or not? And the decision you're making is is this good for me health-wise or not? The decision is not being made, is this worth the money to me or not? And this robs us of an important economic decision that we make in every single aspect of life. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a sleep disorder and the doctor tells you, oh, here's a sleeping machine which will help you sleep better for $20,000. And if we have health insurance, the person will say, oh, I guess I better go file a claim and get it approved and get my sleep machine for $20,000. If we don't have health insurance, he will look at it and says, whoa, that is really expensive. Maybe I should buy a mattress for $10,000, no, great temporary mattress, and I will be just as healthy and sleep just as well. Or maybe we could go even cheaper and get some nice cheap sleeping pills. So, because of health insurance system, doctors are now pushed to prescribe things that are costly. Sleeping machine or tempurpedic is costly. Not only that, in many cases, the insurance company might not have covered, might not have thought to cover a mattress over a machine. Therefore, you are robbed of the many other possibilities that could improve your health. The problem begins when doctors start realizing, oh, the patients accept most procedures because the decision to be made is not, is this procedure worth the money? The decision to be made, is this procedure good for me? And patients tend to trust the doctors a little too much. They tend to trust drugs a little too much. So, Doctors may overprescribe quite a few things. So now you have a system where you're doing a lot of useless stuff in the system. You may be running useless tests, you may be doing useless surgeries, you may be doing useless uh, checkups, you may be taking a bunch of useless drugs, and they could be useless in that they don't help you. It could be harmful sometimes and they hurt you. But even being not helpful or not helpful for the money is bad enough. 